My objective is to check for mites in this box and see how they're building those two. Friday afternoon, it's about uh, 85 degrees, mostly sunny, right now we're in a little cloud cover. I'm happy I see good progress already in this box. I'm not going to go through it yet. It's not my goal right now. My goal is to get down to the brood chamber. Well behaved so far. I'm going to get frame number five over and I'm going to take number four out. And I'm looking to see if the brood is here. I'll look to see if I can find my clean while I'm at it. Grab my frame hanger real quick. The reason I'm taking this frame is because I don't want to smash the bees on the outside against the woodenware. Here on both sides of the frame as I draw it up it'll be B against B. It's just drawn comb, nothing in it, which is kind of a surprise to me.
and this is a nectar frame. It could be that the queen is up in the upper boxes that I took off. I'm going to go after frame number three. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Carpet of brood. Beautiful. Same thing on this side. Going to spend a moment looking for queens just in case. Another brood frame. No queen. I want to put my hive tool in that corner and there's bees there. So I'm just going to give a little smoke and that'll clear that corner out. And now I won't crush any bees while I'm going in there. This is as you would expect a food frame. It's loaded with pollen all the way through across the entire thing. And brood on this side. And pollen all the way across where it's not open. Again, another quick scan for the queen. I don't see her on here. But I'm happy with what I see. Oh, there's as many bees on the face as there on the inside of the box as there is on the comb so it's possible she could be in there uh, just for giggles I'm going to pull this last frame I don't think she's going to be here but I'm going to check anyway Not a very desirable frame, so I have to make a note to come back and replace this. You see uh, it's plastic and it just looks awful. The queen's not here either. Okay, so my, my thought is I'm going up. 
Well, I'm dripping on the bees. That's not good. Dripping sweat. Sorry, girls. I drip on you. I'm going to put frame number four back. Check it one more time. Make sure I didn't miss the queen when I looked the first time. Plenty of drones in the hive. Gotta be careful leaning over because I'm dripping sweat off my nose. It is 85 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, no queen. So let's go up and look a little higher and see where we are. Put this box back together. Now over here I set the other boxes and I covered them off so the bees don't fly. And they're in the dark, which is what they like. I'm going to move slowly here. Try not to crush any bees as I come down. Giving them a moment to get out of the way. Now go through the same drill here is just look through these and see what I have. These three are top bar frames. They're foundationless in a V shape. So ultimately I want to look at these two. I'm going to go after frame number two first. If the camera picked up on it, you could see how effect that was, effective that was at moving the bees out of the way so I could put my hive tool in. Full carpet of brood. So on the camera, you see the brown material here. I'm going to look for my queen while I'm talking. This is bees underneath wax capping. That's what you're seeing. And usually they store honey and tree fell over there. Big branch. They store honey and pollen all the way around it. But look at the other side. There's plenty of open brood in here. So it probably doesn't show up on the camera, but there's eggs to larva to pupa all the way to capped all the way across. So there's obviously an operational queen and she's been here just 
a short time ago. And I think this is the frame that I'm going to use to sample for mites since I have open brood, which is what I was looking for. So now what I need to do is ensure that I don't have the queen on here because when I take my bees for the sample, I do not want to sample the queen. So I'm just being careful to look for the queen anywhere on this side. And the good news is the bees are relatively stable. I don't see tons and tons of bees running around. So it lets me easily inspect the frame and look at every bee and just double check that the queen is not here. I do not see her. I've looked pretty carefully. So I think I'm going to set this frame up to sample. I'm just going to put it aside for a minute and get my stuff ready to sample. I know it looks like I set that down on the bees, but the frame hanger itself prevents the plastic from laying down and smashing any bees. So what I'm going to do is grab this frame, do one more check, shake the bees down, get a half cup of them, and I'm going to put them in the liquid and cover it off. That'll sacrifice those bees, but then I could shake them and determine whether they have any mites on them or not. And whatever mites are free, they will go back and, or whatever bees are free, they will go back in the hive. So one more check for a queen. And just as I say this, one of the other things that I'll do, when I shake the bees down onto the plastic, I'm going to give a quick scan there because when they're flat on the plastic like that, it's easier to see a queen if you know what you're looking for. Now it's highly likely when I shake these bees that the bees are going to go up in the air. It generally is not going to cause a problem. They usually just come back down and land and go back into the hive if they can do it. I've been breathing on the hive, or on the frame as I've been talking, and my breath is the reason they're all retreating. They don't like it when you blow on them, and you can feel the breath coming out of my mouth. The air, it's not necessarily uh, odor, it's, it's the actual air movement. Okay, so I've examined this frame pretty well. For a queen, I don't see one. Double check the margins. I'm ready to take my sample. If when you're looking at a frame like this and you have big stacks of bees thick and you're not sure if the queen's underneath, you could shake some of the bees off into the hive. You'll still have enough nurse bees on the frame to sample. And so it's clear if you look in that frame you will see eggs and larvae, the white pearly larvae. And that's what makes me know this is a brood frame. All right, I'm gonna shake my bees. Now, one of the things that'll happen is if there's any foragers on here, they're gonna go up and fly, but most of the nurse bees will remain down on the plastic. A quick down and a quick stop. Okay, that's all I need. I'm looking for the queen real quick. I do not see her. That's interesting. I shook a number of bees right in here. So I'm just going to be careful to scoop bees over here in the corner. Get my half cup measure.
and put them in and cover them up. And now what I'll do is just take this plastic, turn it over, and I'll let all the bees walk back into the hive. Be careful I don't pinch any. Now you notice something interesting, these bees are fanning. They've picked up the scent of the queen inside and that's the indication to the bees up in the air that the queen is in the hive. I want to do one thing. This is an empty frame last time I put it in. It was full, 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 empty, full. I want to check this one and see what the progress is. So before I put it all back together, I'm just going to quick spread this one out and take a look at the progress of my hive to see how they're doing building out comb for me. Excuse me girls. Ah, oh, they're getting here. They're getting here. That looks really good to me. Yep, and the frame next to it is drawn. So my goal here is this, this hive has a false floor if you've never seen it, in order to facilitate building comb for a top bar. These three frames are top bar frames. That's the point of this special nuke that I have this spring. I'm trying to restart my top bar hive. Okay, so that's enough. I'm going to put the hive back together and go inspect the next one. So I tested this sample and there's zero mites. Um, I was so wondering whether that was true or not that I stood and shook them for another two minutes. And I see some debris, but no mites in the sample. So that's a good sign. Uh, doesn't mean I'm out of the woods. I gotta check the rest of my hives, but at least for this nuke it has a low threshold. I can't believe that there's zero mites in here, but from my sample there's not a single mite in the jar. See that on occasion, but it's pretty rare. By the way, this is blue fluid that you would put in a windshield wiper. Windshield washer for your vehicle, that's what I'm using.